Well, apparently we're on the air. So, hi, I'm Doc. Earlier today I did a little bit of a stream of this game, Uncharted 2. In the process of streaming the game, I found out that the first you know, 30 minutes or so of my stream was borked. Now I'm not particularly interested in replaying the game and trying to recapture the insights that I had because, well, I don't think I can. I would be trying to, I would be spending too much time trying to remember. So what I'm gonna do is reintroduce myself and my goal and I will still upload the part of that that has salvageable audio and uh, the stuff that doesn't have salvageable audio, I mean, sorry, we're just gonna miss miss out on that, I guess. Um, you know, I haven't done this in a while. My upload is not super fast. Um, my setup isn't perfect, but I do my best. Anyways, I'm Doc. This is Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is a game that I do not particularly enjoy. <laughs> um, it's a game that I've I've discussed online over the years since I first played it about seven years ago in 2012. Um, I got my first games console in 2010. It was an Xbox 360. The reason I, I chose to get an Xbox 360 was because Alan Wake was on it. And I'm, I'm a really big fan of Remedy's games. Alan Wake is... Um, it was worth it. I love that game. Still one of my favorite games of all time. Most of the games I played, though, were, were PC games. Um, you generally had a lot of freedom in what you do, how you do things, you know. So I'd been playing, you know, Black Side Area 51. I'd been playing Crisis. I'd been playing Call of Duty 4. Um, a lot of games that really just kind of let you sit back and do your thing. And um, it's fun. It's it's fun to play games that sit back and let you do your thing. Uncharted 2 came along and it, it was like... It was trying to be a movie. And so a lot of people initially praised it and they were like, Wow, this, this game is very cinematic. This is what games can be. And my, my thinking now... Well, before I get into my thinking now, I'll just say that... When I was playing the game then... Um... You know, I was expecting a similar level of freedom in what I got, and and the end result was this game that had a story I wasn't really a big fan of. It was, I don't know, I just I wasn't really enjoying myself playing it. And the more I played it, the less fun I found myself having. Excuse me, less fun I found myself having, and as a result, I didn't really like the game. And so when a bunch of people, you know, over the years have been like, I tried to, excuse me, jeez. I just woke up a little bit ago, I'm a little out of it. Um, when a bunch of people started telling me, oh, well, Uncharted 2 is like, what games ought to be? Uncharted 2 is the future of video games. Um, you know, I was obviously very interested to try it out, but in doing so, I, I discovered something I felt like was taking video games down a wrong path. But I sort of refused to cover it over the years because people, you know, people ask me to cover it. They're always like, oh, Doc, you don't like Uncharted 2 that much. Why don't you cover Uncharted 2? And I'm like, oh, I cover a game I don't have fun playing. Because I knew I would have to replay it to do so. However, thanks to the invention of something called Ko-Fi, um, people can give me money to do things. And I'm okay with, you know, being given money to do really stupid things like playing a game I don't enjoy again you know because I mean I, I I was able to pay off some stuff I was able to get a new microphone so I'm pretty happy I, I hear this microphone's pretty good um, which is exciting because I want to get into streaming more stuff uh, people seem to enjoy that somewhat anyways we're gonna I would say start Uncharted 2 but I've already started Uncharted 2 so we're going to do, we're going to have some fun with Uncharted 2 here, see what that's like. And I'm going to, you know, the deal is, right, I do my best. The deal is that I treat the game fairly, and I criticize it intelligently, and, you know, or at least as intelligently as I can. Um, 
And hopefully we have fun with it. So, if you've never played Uncharted before, if you've never played Uncharted before, um, Nathan Drake wakes up in a train. He's in real bad shape. It's on the edge of a cliff. He escapes. There are flashbacks to like this whole quest he's gone on, which is to find some missing thing. And we're still, I guess, technically in the flashback, but Nathan was just betrayed by his partner after discovering a map to the location he needs to go. His partner, Harry Flynn, who does not understand the reference in Like Flynn, which makes him a bad person, um, has just betrayed Nathan. Now, I'm not really sure why this Turkish museum has snipers with lasers, but they do. That's not a criticism of the game, okay? I'm not here to nitpick and talk about what makes it bad or whatever. I'm just going to talk about what, what makes it flow, what makes it work, what makes it not work. I'm going to speculate on why it's such a popular game. I'm going to talk about how games have changed in the meantime. Um, the goal is, you know, have a good time. So here we go. Damn it, Flynn. Still, we are still technically in the tutorial. Yeah, buddy. No, oh, no, no. Nope. Okay, now I'm screwed. I mean, you've always been screwed, Nate. All right, all right. Think, Nate. Think. Oh. It's kind of interesting how the game isn't always. Yeah, there it is. Good at. Um, <sighs> Sort of communicating where you need to go in some of the faster bits. I think Naughty Dog got better at that over time. So it's like, oh no, there's dudes. You're gonna keep going. And then they do moments like that where it's like they know what you're gonna do. They have this guy, right? And you're like, okay, well, I gotta get up there because that's yellow. Oh god. How do I get out of here? Apparently, I don't actually. So it's really interesting. The game gives you yellow, right? Like, I see, oh, that's yellow. I need to get there. The game gives you a lot of yellow. It says, this is where you need to move. Um, but sometimes it gives you yellow things where you're, you're not supposed to interact or engage. Like, it has barriers that are yellow, so I'm sitting here going, I must need to be climbing this. And it's like, no, actually, this is a barrier. So it uses yellow for some things that would probably be better off not being yellow. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really and here we introduce you Sully. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So... I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully. But you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first place, I wouldn't have been rotting in this shithole for the last seen. three Nate. months. So excuse Nate me Drake if I'm not just, you know, pretty, pretty leaping pretty into your arms. How is his hair still gelled? No one right. knows. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. I didn't want to talk to her in the cutscenes that much. Nate, they found the ships in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. Who? All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. <laughs> All these cliche lines, one after another. Look, the performance they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. 
A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> it's wild to find it for him. It's no wonder he has the same year as 50 cent. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, dramatically. Cowboy, that's easier said than Dramatically. The higher files production, right? are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's, for, it's you know, it's an exclusive. It's right? like an armed compound. So it's going to be. There are soldiers everywhere. But it's still. I mean, I well, just played the other game, and like that's this why it is has to be an inside fun. job from someone they know and trust. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent. That's all it'll take. Really, five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. <laughs> or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. But was he in like Flynn? Ah, terrible looking trees. No, I'm kidding. This Chloe, pretty great. You're reading us? Loud and clear. I love how Close. they're just like, you know, all these brown and gray shooters, <laughs> what if we made one that's just super okay, green? Okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. Why didn't... Why didn't she arm them? Right ahead of you. Why did not? Why would you plan to charge and then leave someone else to arm them? Excuse me. How does that even work? Also, I like seeing a little crocodile. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh -huh. There we are. Why didn't she do that? I don't understand right. this plot. I mean, this First plan. Set. Don't. I guess it is a plot. The but this one. <laughs> Banner is great. Once you've set all the charges, just mm. hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Just be careful. The Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Keep an eye out for patrols. First off, this is not how a perimeter <sighs> works. like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Why not? How much do we have to stay in this? I don't feel it. Careful. People will. Would... Don't let them spot you. No, I can hear. Let's take these guys out. Quietly. I said quietly. That's the other end of loud. Well, I'm not sure why the game put me into stealth and then immediately had me fight a guy. I am essentially my own distraction now. Fire. Damn, I'm a good shot. Don't break this. Oh god. I do like that we didn't have an instant fail this time though. The shooting is still real bad. There's no hit markers for one thing. It's like we can't really tell if we're hitting people. Moderate amount of blood. Looks like we can swing across there. Oh, we definitely Maybe you can. go the obvious way. All right, hold on, Grandpa. See if mm. I can find another way up. It's kind of weird how the game is. Kind of. I wonder why they didn't just put yellow on that bar. Oh well. It's yes. the AK. Six axis time, baby. Here we go. Oh, right. This is Uncharted 2. We're gonna squeeze through. Oh no, we're gonna push the boulder. Once again, for uh, for accessibility. For accessibility purposes. Uh, Perfect. Thanks, kid. I don't think mashing a button is ever the right choice. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. They should have been back. This is not a camp. Shit, oh god. Look at that. I can't tell if the game actually wants me to sneak or not. Yeah, this this um honestly 
out of this style of game, I would say that this is legitimately the, uh, what was that guy even doing? This is legitimately the worst shooting, um, that I can think of in this genre, other than, you know, maybe Uncharted 1, but they actually improved Uncharted 1 a lot, which I really appreciated. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, oh, so the shooting is bad, therefore the game is bad, right? We've only had two guns. We can't, we can't ride a game off of that. You should be getting close to the but, you know, one of the, I think one of the great big More innovations from last generation, and I'm really curious what the first game was to uh, include it, was hit markers. Um, <coughs> did we need a cutscene for that? Maybe it was a loading sequence. Here's the camp. You ready for this? I love. Let's do it. I love that this game was so cool with being green. Or yeah, with being so green, you know. So we have a bunch of vaguely Russian villains. Nate can climb this ladder. No treasure up here, though. Mm, I wonder what the advantage of time up here was. I don't think so. I was always gonna die up there. I am a fool and a coward. Um, alright. So I'm not sure why they give you a ladder to get up there. There's no cover. Um. And they... God, okay. For a game that has so much stealth, it's weird that they don't have, like, a lot of stealth mechanics. What, what just happened? Why, why did that happen? Let's take some cover, let's take some cover. You can't switch shoulders in Uncharted 2. Um, can that explode? It can explode, okay. Good to know. Didn't help us because, you know, I did it wrong, but... Oh god. There we go. You can see, it's, it's pretty rudimentary, you know, 2009 era physics. Again, this is... You can't blame a game for the technological limitations of its time. So we're not going to do that. It's It'll be interesting to kind of ID them. Be like, hey, isn't it kind of interesting how later games did that? But we're not going to, you know, as we talk about this game and what makes it work and what does not, I'm not going to be unfair to it and be like, oh, well, you know, this game from another time totally had a different thing. So it's the newer game is better. Like that's, that's chronological. It's not very boring. Oh, oh. <laughs> Talking and shooting at the same time challenging. I am bad at video games. In case it wasn't clear. So this time, what if I just immediately set off? Oh, I'm not really sure why that guy died for like two bullets. Okay. Now, Nate needs to hide. Oh, yeah, crap is right, bro. Boop, boop. You really drake that on, huh, buddy? Alright, let's go get. That was coming handy. There's still another guy out here, isn't there? Sully really killed them all. Again, this this game... Like, I know that we're talking about a sort of remaster. For a game for 2009, it... You can still tell. Our director is strong as heck, so... It takes a really long time to get out back. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I'm still left. Oh god. No. No, no. no, not physics. Okay. Someone has to Why the checkpoint happened like, this, like it did? Alright, 
I think I'm probably gonna have to move forward here. So strange to me. Oh hey, it kept my gun and it respawned the one where I did the pickup from. Which is nice. I think this revolver is like a one kill for nukes. Huh. So you don't actually get inv uh, invincible during the um, the melee. I'm not really sure what they want you to do with that. I'm guessing to preserve their art direction. By the way, you're going to see me randomly punching a lot. The reason for that is because I am a dummy who is used to pressing square to reload. So that's going to happen a lot. Nothing, nothing anyone can do about it. Oh god. So let's see if we can't flank this guy. Oh, that's bad. Nope. Thought maybe I could punch the guy. Oh, this game has blind fire. Okay. Alright. Hey, buddy. Okay. Come on. Totally, definitely playing on the highest difficulty and definitely not playing on normal that's for sure i'm playing on normal i am playing on normal all right so here's the question okay uncharted 2 only wants you to have one rifle type weapon at any given moment now normally me being me, I would pick the shotgun, right? But this game's encounters don't really favor shotguns, as I recall. I really thought that would knock the ladder down. Come on, Sully, give me a hint. No? So again, there's been all this gunfire, all this other stuff, and we're still supposed to set up explosives, which is hilarious to me. Maybe they didn't hear us. We still got our arm three of the charges. You know, this, this is um this is gonna sound weird. When I was playing on um, Dragon Age Inquisition. There should be only two left. Not too long ago. Um it is a very large video game. And it has this odd thing where you have to be physically in front of a person to have a conversation with them. Like, it will snap you to where you need to be in order to chat to them, or chat with them. But it wants you to be in front of them when you're trying to All speak right, with them, which is really weird, right? Happened. Like, in real life, if I walked up behind you and I called your name, you would probably turn around to look at me, and then we would have a conversation. Okay, that's all of it. In Uncharted, or sorry, in Dragon Age Inquisition, the game instead chooses to, uh, I can pick up a lot of ammo, which is really appreciated. Oops. Um, in Inquisition, you, you have to be looking directly at the thing. And the reason I, I mention this is because, you know, as I was playing here, I noticed that I had to be, like, right on that explosive to make it work. Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. I think it would be more fun if you on, could, you know, once up. you see the thing, you pop the prompt and you're in a trigger volume of some kind and the game just kind of snaps you into whatever you need to do. There you go, kid. All right. <laughs> must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Yeah, it's pretty wild that a ship got washed inland. Did you guys hear about the news thing the other day? I realize that this is going to date this video, right? But not too long ago, um, these men are not going to last through the day. 
that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Oh no! Evil villain, man. <laughs> that the kinetic force between that punch behind that punch must have been amazing. That guy's just not even gonna. Boom. All right. So we know. Oh, hey, melee is actually a little bit more complicated than this. Anyways, yeah, a whale showed up in a jungle, which is hilarious to me. Um, no one actually knows why. Speed ramping. Yeah, we did see Zack Snyder's 300. No, it's great. You actually need that to make combat feel good. It's little lines like that that I think really make Uncharted 2 stand out compared to other games. Um, even other Uncharted games. I don't recall Uncharted 3 or 4 having that. You always follow the host. It makes me wonder if um, like in Montreal, huh? That's a lot of Amy Hennig there. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. She's a great writer. And, you know, Uncharted's like her baby. It's it's weird that we tend to associate Uncharted with Naughty Dog specifically, but it's very much Amy Hennig's baby. It's my understanding, anyways. I think I see the camp up ahead. Not actually sure what these. Is that like a pump for water? Did, what is that? Why do we need so much cabling? Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. <laughs> I pulled up my stream, now I can see uh, messages sent to Three me. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! Ah, my, my nemesis. It must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. All right, now, the game wants to prove to us that this man is evil. So. You would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. I have an accent, and I'm Russian. Surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruined this guy's day? Do it. Now, they didn't hear any of the gunshots that we just did. So... Now they hear the explosions. Sorry, kids. You remember, I set off several explosions earlier. So why now is the game... Uh... I think that's pretty great. That's a very Call of Duty thing to do, right? Okay, kid. It's showtime. Can I? Okay, cool. Go through the foliage. I'm also looking around for treasures, because why not, right? Oh, God. Huh? <laughs> okay. Is there not a way I can grab this guy? Okay, I can. <clears throat> okay. So, I understand what happened there, right? I was in the line of sight performing a stealth action which got me killed. But, in a game like, say, Dishonored, right? One with an actually robust stealth system. Um, and, you know, this game puts you in stealth so much, I kind of feel like it should have a robust stealth system. Um, in a game like Dishonored, you're going to have, like, you know, detection meters and stuff. Stuff that says, hey, buddy, someone can see you. And in here, like, the game is, like, it is tutorialized, right? If you want to do sneak kill, you want to grab somebody from cover. And so I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, also, it reset my ammo after my spawn, which is weird um, and disappointing. You don't get a lot of ammo from guns. Like in, uh, in Gears of War, you get like 300 bullets from a gun or whatever. When you pick it up, it's great. Um, that's not comparison. That's just... Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. 
He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his Lily journey Wonka to Shambhala. And the journey huh. to Shambhala. That's supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. Yes, the villain is it the was worst. With great he's sorrow just, that I left my He's the most direct to DVD to villain of I've ever decreed seen. by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani stone is here. What? Listen to this. I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. It's what still in Shambhala. I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? It's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> Because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. This is another one of those cutscenes that I think found is a any little bodies, bit too long. I'm not, from, no, not gonna lie. Nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's the... There's gonna be a lot more gunplay in a second. Also, isn't Sully a sniper? Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Okay, he is a sniper. He just... Nate. Well, that's convenient. All right. We're still tutorializing. I love it. I mean, that's not actually a bad thing. Like, um, it makes me happy. One thing I really appreciate there is that the enemies didn't, uh, well, I don't appreciate that that didn't kill either of them, but. Flush him out. Okay, he did drop his own grenade. That's one thing I think any, any game with enemies that have grenades needs to have. If they can't drop their grenades and die as a result, the game has failed you. Can I get it to those guys? I really enjoy the challenge system and I wish more games had it. Um, okay, interesting. So my grenade didn't get me that achievement, but shooting a random guy did. I'm guessing you had to do it with a gun is probably how it's set to trigger. Now you notice the actual encounter here is not that great. I think their goal is that they want you to, uh, they really want you to get used to throwing grenades, so they just kind of send a lot of waves of enemies at you. But the encounter design ends up not being really interesting, which, you know, if, if I had the same budget as a team of developers in 2009, would I have come up with the same encounter? Would I have tried to change it somehow? You know, and one of the one of the difficulties that faces Uncharted is because your game is set in the modern day, right? You are somewhat limited on what you're able to do in terms of enemy variety. Um, closing in on me. Glad they're closing in on you, Sully. Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right. Uncharted man and his buddy Victor. I got more than I can handle here, kid. Reinforcements. Hang back. I'll do what I can from here. You know, this is gonna sound weird. So don't um, uh, don't think this is a knock, but I think game radicals affect how you feel about combat. And Uncharted has a circular reticle, which I've never been too wild about. Um, it's an issue I had with Halo. 
and the, the SMG. However, that was an SMG. Oh, there's a guy right here. So I'm probably gonna die. This game is just really giving me achievements, though. Wow. Okay. Don't let your guard down, kid. I'll do what I can from here. Just uh, back to some cover. Catch! I think it's borrowing Gears of War's grenade mechanic. Um, which is really smart. Aw, oh, man. Had to reload. The worst time. Oh, and there goes your day! Shit! Cool. Okay. That was fun. Alright, that's him. You go through the. It actually reminds me of some of the encounters in the division. Um, division has this really a bunch of really cool fights where you you walk into arena and you fight your way through it, and then you do something and there's a state change, and then the enemies start coming at you, and you take up the defensive position you were just assaulting. And um, Uncharted 2 has done that. I'm looking for some ammo right now because um, I don't have like a whole. Oh, I got 101. Let's hope those grenades are infinitely respawning. I should stock up. Generally, yeah, I'm I'm a fan of like dot reticles or chevron reticles. I really like chevron reticles. Um, over. I think it's probably infinitely respawning. There. Cool. Um, over circles. I don't really like that that much. And it's the same either way. I'm gonna look into options later and see if I can't change that. That'll be fun. Don't worry, game. I I actually do know what to do. I think. Heck yeah, bro. Should be this way. You should be this way. Also, sorry for bumping into you, Sully. Let's do this. It's weird that a circle for aiming um, is uh, is used so much. I get that people are probably trying to be like, well, there's spread involved. But a dot feels more accurate, it feels better. It's just, you know, a few pixels on the screen. It still feels better. So, you know, the the gunplay here isn't... Like, this is the same issue that I had with Red Dead Redemption, oh, which, you know, came out a few months later. Um, and... Uh, what's that other game? Red Dead Redemption and Mass Effect 2, they both had really, really bad shooting. And this is kind of the same way. It's... There's not a lot of good communication. As to, I keep wanting to reload that way. Um, did it really? Ah. Uh, huh. So the game is trying to focus. Um, and it doesn't really know how to handle that. Which is interesting. Uh, it's got like an autofocus. It's, um, I mean... Artistically, you can see what they're going for. I, I think Bungie made the smarter choice. Which was like lower fidelity up close and higher overall fidelity so that 3D space feels really good. I don't think this is a particularly great environment. Eh, it's actually better than... <laughs> it's actually better than I remember it being, and maybe that's just because it's the remastered version of the game. But it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Um, let's try not to walk off a cliff and die this time, okay? Me? You know, one thing that's really interesting is some people started. Whoa, Sully! Look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Some people started criticizing Uncharted 2 and being like, "Well, haha, Uncharted 2. It's isn't it kind of weird how Nathan Drake 
you know, shoots a lot of dudes, but is the good guy. And it's weird, because, like, that's literally what the bad guy says at the end of the game. It felt to me almost like, uh... Oh, yeah. The game trying to control its own critical narrative, which is strange. Hello. What do we have here? Uh, to answer your question, Salvador... Yeah, the game... The gunplay is, like, it's okay. Um... And the fidelity is, like, I don't know if it's better than, like, it's definitely a lot sharper than, the, than I remember being on PS3. Like, it had a lot oh, of aliasing. But I'm going to be really old. curious to see if they're missing textures in some of the areas they were missing textures in on the vanilla release. I, I remember one of them, but there were actually several areas like where they were the missing jack. textures. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. 600? The they're all black. I think they're all that way. We're not even looking at. They must have taken. Okay, here during I'll be tsunami. honest. I was about to criticize that, but let's be real. If they had done a cutscene where he like looked at a skull and was like black teeth, some sort of on one hand that would have been cool, but on the other hand, the flow here might actually be better if we don't look at black teeth. However, um, unless I'm mistaken, teeth do actually rot, ah! and so you yeah, wouldn't. Have Here. teeth from a what? game that's. I see where I need to go. So is there anything I don't need yet? No, it doesn't look like any collectibles. More resin. I've seen this before. That's right. The stone isn't a stone at all. It's a tree. Sully, give me a light. Sorry, I just spoiled the game that I'm playing right now. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. It's a black it's like light. A real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. That never ended poorly for anyone. We're probably going through there, aren't we? Oh wait. Like, does the blood not take me kind of here-ish and then end? Oh wait, wait, no. Uh. It does kind of end here, though. There was a school here. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. One thing that I appreciate about a Tomb Raider is that it made a lot of this gameplay. And this game's just like, no, it's all cutscenes. You know, it's weird because I, I play Gears of War 3. In here. And I remember there's this moment where your barge crashes in Gears of War 3. And it was really dramatic. And I thought, you know, I bet Un Uncharted would have like made this gameplay. And. You know, here I am, playing this game right now, and my thinking is like... Actually, there's a lot of interruptions, and I think this is one of the... Like, this is probably one of the biggest reasons why I had issues playing this game, is what there are we have here? a lot of interruptions. Christ almighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. That's funny, though. Can you imagine playing a game like this and then actually having yeah, the option to, like, scare your friends what or play it, it seriously? Kind of no, no, it's a, a perba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? You know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what? This is it? In terms of gameplay, what really did we actually do there? We the hell is it a walked in. Well, we found maybe a torch. This map would help. And then we walked Let me see that. <laughs> with Between the torch India back through the room. Tibet, we interacted with one thing, and now we have another cutscene. Hundreds of was the game stretching as far as the compelling enough well, I know this place. to justify yeah. 
Except it's really long cutscenes. Just like a few of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on. There's more. In all these many I'm generally temples, of the opinion one that in a game like conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And by the way, tell me to shut up if that you, path you don't want me talking over the cutscenes. Pilgrim... Um, I don't actually know what my voice is compared to the cutscene. Like if I'm a lot louder or quieter. Oh. So for all I know, this is like an awful You're mess. Kid. So what are we waiting? Um, <laughs> let's get out of here. But generally, I'm of the opinion See that, you know, if you're playing a game like this, you don't want to Let's do a thing going. where you don't really do anything. And uh, one of my favorite examples of this is Max Payne 3, which is like you have a cutscene that's like 10 minutes long where Max cuts his hair off. And then he walks very slowly through a village with some kid yelling. Actually, he gets to a neighborhood. I'm going to go out and make and sure some... the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Well, I can climb here. Right? This looks climbing. Uh, give me a hand, Nate. Sure thing, Sully. I'm about to get betrayed. So there's this really, really long cutscene with Max. Come on. And then Max walks really slowly as some kid yells at him to like hurry up, it's Mister. Drake. What the hell? Are Get your hands up. You should know how to pick him. Shut up, Sully. Should have known it was you. Dun dun dun. What is wrong with his <laughs> eyes? They you. look really weird. Victor, goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. I am a sack Pretty of ballsy shit. for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And but he, he, he did find the ships. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... Mm, that sounds like Nepal. One temple will reveal a pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. I'm gonna pause for a second because I want to finish this uh, Max Payne 3 example, right? So, really, really long cutscene. I think it was around 10 minutes long. Walk through a town. Be forced to walk very slowly while a kid yells at you to walk faster, and you're like, "Well, I can't, cause the the sprint is is disabled. So I literally can't run. So stop yelling at me, game." Uh, then you get a cutscene where you're mugged and you fall into a hole, which I mean, I think they could have done a gameplay. I would have, I think, preferred it that way, right? Like, imagine trying to fight back, but you know, you get beat up and thrown into a hole. You could do it with gameplay. They did it with a cutscene though. Uh, then you walk forward through this pit, and as you step out of this pit, it's a sewage pit, um, as you step out of this pit, then there's another cutscene with people watching you step out of the pit, and you're like, ugh, there's just this, it's like a short reaction, and like, somebody did set all that up, they had to custom animate it, all this other stuff, right, they, they did all these things, and then you walk up the stairs, and I believe there's another cutscene at the top of the stairs, and then you walk halfway down the alley, and you have the option to talk to somebody. If you do, you'll talk to this guy who's a, a missionary that Max talks to occasionally. Um, I think he's from the Midwest. I don't remember why he was in the plot. But you can talk to like this missionary guy, and it's a pretty long cutscene. And then you walk the rest of the way down the alley, and there's another cutscene as you enter a, a uh, place where you're meeting your client. So, all you did was walk pretty much straight, fall in a hole, walk up some stairs, and then walk down an alley. That's all you did, but there's like... 30 minutes of cutscenes in there. The cutscene was so long in the place with the informant that by the time I ended it with Max jumping into bullet time, I couldn't do anything because my controller was unresponsive because it had fallen asleep. Because the cutscene was so long, the game thought I was inactive. Um, and that could just be because I, I think I was using a third-party PS3 controller. But it was still like 10 minutes. That controller did not just go off every couple of minutes. And that, to me, really feels like last gen a lot. And Uncharted is doing that. We're seeing that here, right? Like, we're seeing a lot of, I want to play the game, but I do, like, two minutes of gameplay, and then I get cutscenes that are really, really long. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. And some Take of the cutscenes are good, but there is something You'll very wrong with that man's prisoner. eyes. They really bug me. Move. Everyone else's eyes look fine. It's just Harry's that mess with me. Here's like, Mwah, ha, ha, ha. Liz Arvik, I totally discovered this by myself. I mean, I guess he Come did. On, keep moving. Because, you know, 
slowly like hey I found him oh, shit are you all right yeah well it'll make it look more believable now I'm gonna try and buy you some time no Chloe you have to come with us no just meet me in Nepal now run let's go I like her yeah I bet you do be fair, Sully likes everybody. Oh, shit! They spotted us! Run for it! Really? They spotted you? I couldn't tell. I'm not gonna lie. I think the game would be a lot better. Like, just significantly better if you were invincible during those, um, those punches. I believe you are in Doom. Um, which makes them feel really good. Um, you know, but I mean, that's like, that's a minor thing, but it is a thing that, like, any game I'm playing, if I, if I am locked into an animation and I'm not getting shot, I tend to be, or I am getting shot, I tend to be, like, Now ah, what do we do? This. We jump? Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, we get caught. I'll break your neck, Sully. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Come on, now, don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. All we gotta do is jump off you a cliff. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. Why are we doing this while they're shooting at us? Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> I'm just not British enough. And here we get to like oh, this you said Lazar, incredible bitch, looking had town. A head start on us. You weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help. I wonder if there's more atmospheric minutes. fog in this the than there was. Like, the I wonder if they actually improved the particles. He just to throw like the, the, on the, the aliasing is definitely fixed. But I wonder if they did anything else. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys. Because I don't think the, the right original temple. holds up this well. But I also don't want to repurchase the PS3 version to Hello? check it out. Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? I think I'm gonna Maybe. play through this level, yeah. and then when I'm done with this level, it'll be good for the so evening. Ready to be done with these clowns. She hates well, clowns. Uh, no wait. Yeah. Nate's the one who hates clowns. I'll meet you in the old market. Foreshadowing. All right, you got it. Uh oh. I got company. Oh great! Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you alright? I've been better. Sorry, I just got an email offering me free. Oh god. Yes, I understand. Don't say everything up! Dramatic. It's dramatic. I don't like that I can't see where I'm going. What just. Okay, why did I die there? Like, I can probably figure out why I left it. I was probably in the right, like, the incorrect spot. But the game doesn't teleport it, right? Like, nope. I actually don't know why I'm dying here. God. That's amazing, dude. Like, role-playing is, like, literally fun? Incredible. Okay. I'm holding backwards on the stick, and I'm shooting. You all can see that. I mean, you can't see it, because you can see it in my hands. But... It's really dramatic the first time you do it. Honestly, this should be one of those sequences that you do no matter what. 
Okay, Nathan literally stopped running. Like, he literally stopped moving. I'm actually moving the stick, and he's just... Right, right, I forgot. This actually was a hit. Okay, does anyone who has played Uncharted 2 actually know what I'm supposed to do here? I am perplexed. I am perplexed and angered. Okay, don't reload, it will slow you down. My name is Nathan Brick and I'm very confused what I'm supposed to be doing here. No, it just kills you. This alone should have like made people go. This game is like a one out of five. One out of ten. You know, like a point five out of five. Okay. Let's stop here. What did we learn? I'll tell you what I learned. Nothing. I actually... So, good game design is clear game design. Right? Um, now I realize that I'm talking about a game that broke those rules. I mean, I mean that I made a game that broke those rules. It's a very unclear game. It's literally intentionally unclear. But it's also a game with absolutely zero fa failure states. There is no way to fail at playing Paratopic. You can play the game... And sometimes you'll be like, well, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't understand what I need to be doing. But there's no way to actually fail. A couple of people did get lost in the forest, which, like, surprised me. But um, we were actually we were thinking about trying to figure out ways to make it clearer where you needed to go. Um, but, you know, we had a budget of, like, zero dollars in taquitos. So bit bit harder to do that. Um, but then we get a game like, game like this, right, where there is a failure state. And when there is a failure state, the game needs to be able to communicate why you have failed. You need to understand, oh, I did this wrong, or the game is being dick, you know. Um, and Uncharted hasn't done that. It doesn't, I don't understand why I was able to survive that encounter when all the other ones failed me. I did just kind of hug the right wall, but that feels, that feels unintuitive to me. Um, I don't understand what it was and one thing i really like here is we walk into this space right and okay i was really hoping to actually walk into that space and explore okay. and not have a cutscene. the old market we could have done all this in gameplay Find him. crap <laughs> what i really like about this though is that they've they put in a lot of colors go, go, since go. we're in nepal we get to use those flags um, but they have just like paint that they just put on buildings to make it feel a little bit more vibrant. That's why I can punch that guy. Okay. the black armor takes more than the, like gray armor okay now we just gotta find Chloe I mean that itself not a terribly uh like that's not like a bad encounter at all there were explosives there I probably could have used um I don't think the game actually ever explains why there were a bunch of people in a van racing past us, though. But, like, that's the perfect opportunity to kind of give players a, wait, what just happened? Now, obviously, we need to go there. I remember the first time I played this, I did not see that. And being used to playing a lot of ground-based games, I kind of ran around here a lot. And I was like, where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Sweet. Um... What? <laughs> 
That's that's awesome. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way, no. Um Okay, that is nicer sights, so I'm gonna keep those sights. I I'm really upset though, like look at this. I can only carry two guns. Come on. Gears of War lets me carry three guns and two of those are main weapons and one is a pistol. So yeah, Uncharted, like, if you looked at this scene, right, if you'd never played this game before, and I said, where are you supposed to go? Would you know where to go? I don't, I don't necessarily know that you would. Now, having played this game enough, I know where to go. And use the saturated colors to say, hey, bro, you gotta go here. Use the bricks. Um, you know, I do appreciate that once you get started, you kinda, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out where to go. Um, of course, they dropped it off after you go, which feels nice. It also, you know, blocks your way back. Camera is, oh, it's because the building is falling over, right? I think we're coming up on, I think one of my favorite encounters in video game ever. Not this. Now, if I drop down there, would I stay alive? Like, can I just drop? Okay, I can. Cool. I was worried I would Parking have to. job. Incidental dialogue like that is pretty great. Um. All right, no, Nate, go back backwards. Nate, you literally have to jump behind you. Okay. Legibility on those is difficult. I think it probably would feel better if it was direction based on the stick. No way. Alright, we got some foreshadowing going on here. Nope, I wanted that ammo. So gun. Um okay. Gonzalez tricks. This is, I mean, overall, I, 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 this is a pretty fun sequence. Um, the scripting is obviously really, really intense um, in terms of like just having so many things. Little, little details like this are wonderful. Um, I was talking to somebody who used to work at Naughty Dog a long time ago. And he said something to me along the lines of, what, what separates AAA from, from everybody else? And, or he asked me that, right? And I was like, I don't know, what does? And he was like, well, you know, it's um, interesting. I thought I would choke that guy. Um, you know, I was like, I was, I was kind of like, I don't know, what, what separates AAA from, from everything else? And he was like, well, it's, you know, it's little details like that, right? I, he had a much better way of describing it than I am now. I'm going off of, like, crappy memory um, at 12, 18 in the morning. But his whole thing was, you know, hey, it's the, it's really those little expensive details that make the game sing. I mean, I don't think he actually called them expensive. But, like, if you're making a game and you just have a flat wall, it's probably not as exciting or interesting as, as it's not textured, Right? And the thing that makes this game work, I think, is the, the sense of texture it has. Um, are there explosives there? Are. Wow, I thought this gun could one hit now. Um, you know, if I was doing combat design on this, I would probably want to avoid flinch. I understand why they include it, but generally I'm opposed to flinch as a mechanic and we're seeing that briefly when people hit us it's also kind of weird to, to have played games like bullet storm which came out oh he's behind um it's interesting to come and play like games like bullet storm which came out um three years later they have randomly generated enemies Um, they're not, like, randomly generated in terms of, uh, oh god, oh god. It's a burst weapon, good to know. 
Is he like a phalanx? He is like a phalanx. Okay. Phalanx. Sorry, I can't words. Okay. So, I ask people who play Destiny with me how I pronounce the word, and they will all tell you I pronounce it incorrectly. I do apologize. I want to pronounce words correctly. It doesn't happen. Love the little details here. Like, this could have been a nothing space, right? Like, they could have just been like, it's a shop. But no, they, they actually went and they, they made a ton of little models, and they put them around, and they were like, hey, wouldn't this be cool? It's really interesting I can go back into this area, because I don't think I'm... S like, I was literally in this entire space. Also, you can climb up there, which is cool. I don't think I'd ever been here before. I appreciate that they opened this back up. They didn't have to. There was no reason to, as far as I can tell. I'm hoping there's a collectible back here. Doesn't appear to be one. Wait. Oh my god, how detailed is this? Wow. Isn't that awesome? I really appreciate that. Um, I'm sitting on my couch right now, so I can't check the stream. I apologize, but I needed to rest my butt for a little bit. Can I, like, pick these up? Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know what Nate needs to defeat the shield guys, if it's just be accurate or what. Oh my god. Probably gonna die here. Super definitely gonna die. There were like seven dudes there. Somebody please explain why there were so many men there. <laughs> I mean, I, I know why there were so many men. What happened probably was we're in this space, right? And now Nate, he passed back through here. But I suspect that whoever designed this game, when they designed the AI, didn't let the AI come back through here. Like whoever did the nav mesh or whatever, I don't actually know how the, the AI is, is meant to work in this game. But, you know, assuming it's something like Unreal. Um, I don't know if... Okay, once you pick up a collectible, it stays. That's cool. Um, I mean, I guess I should have known that since I missed other collectibles earlier that I was sure existed. Um... But, like, I think what happens is the AI doesn't know it can come all the way back here. And so they all bunched up in that corner. So when I walked back in, I had gathered everyone into the room. This means that I can exploit it. But I'm not going to. But I could. Also, it's interesting how I passed through here earlier. And that's, that sign broke. And now I've come back through and it isn't. I suspect it's because I died and so it reloaded. Um but it didn't save the state of that because why would you save the state of that? How many players actually are going to come back through this door? Probably not a lot. Still kind of frustrated that the game doesn't have a dedicated sneaking feature. Um, I think the game would benefit a lot from having a dedicated sneaking feature. See, look, somebody saw me, and I don't know who saw me or how or why. What was, what was that dude? Now, you're going to find that these fights are not as good as Gears of War, right? Like, the reason I mentioned Gears of War is because it is the best in class. So, of course, no one, no one is that good. Um, except for, for Gears. Where is this guy? Okay. Enemy legibility is difficult. Um, the game isn't very good at maybe communicating who I'm shooting at. He threw grenades. I think he's still alive. Um, yeah, he is. Okay. But you notice, so one of the one of the reasons that this is less advanced of a game than, than Gears of War 2 and 3, right? Epic, I'm, I'm going to stop to explain this for a second. When Epic designs, all the people at Epic design Gears of War, right? They understood that you're going to walk into cover like this, right? You're going to walk in these spaces and you're going to see cover and you're going to want to sit behind them. And if you remember, like if you were playing games last gen, because I don't know how young any of you are, right? If you were playing games last gen, you probably 
noticed, right? Oh, here's a lot of waist tight cover and I just kind of chill behind it and oh god. Um, you know, probably a lot of. Oh, well, here's a lot of waist tight cover. I'm just gonna hide behind it. Um, and you find that, you know, you, you can just sit behind cover and not really move. And I know, people are like, oh, on crushing difficulty, you can, you actually have to move, but, like, the game was not built for crushing difficulty. No game is built for its hardest difficulty. Unless that's the only difficulty, in which case it probably is, but... So there's three guys left. Uh, might be able to get a grenade through there. Interacts in this game are so strange. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is 2009 era physics. Like, we, sh we should expect some, some strangeness. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted an ammo game. So far, so good. Just gonna be nice and methodical. And you know, I, I talked about this in the earlier stream, but I, I'll bring it up again. All right, I actually nice. am using the FL burst rifle, short control bursts. Um, I talked about this in the the earlier stream today, but I'll, I'll mention it again. You know, I am someone who tends not to play in the hardest difficulty because the thing I enjoy most about video games is mobility. Um, in, in a third person space, I enjoy navigation and mobility. So when you're sitting still not doing anything, okay, okay. that's at least when I'm not having fun. Um, grenades here game. Hmm. That's a really slow roll. <laughs> cool, okay. Again, we cannot switch shoulders. Oh wait, we can switch shoulders? I was wrong about that earlier. I'm very happy. Deus Ex Machina. Oh, it's Chloe. <laughs> Seems like I am always saving your ass. You, you, well, I could handle that. Ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're in a war oh? zone. This is inappropriate behavior. Is that an ancient behavior. Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? I love cliché well, dialogue. I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Wait. Now. I don't know if you guys recall, but not three, f four, seven cutscenes ago, we talked about this dagger with Chloe. She is now asking us why this dagger yes, is to get everything. And again, that's not something I'm holding this game. It's just kind of weird. What do we do with it? Ah, <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's Seems excessive. Mode? Nate? Oh, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Coincidence. Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe, now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. All right. So I got the one treasure. I don't think there's any more treasure around. 
It's kind of weird how they made the leaps in logic there. Like, you can't really criticize the game for that. I mean, I can, right? If I was really trying to be nitpicky, I totally could. But we're just gonna... We're not gonna blame the game for not great writing. It's no good. Unless we it's want locked. to. Wait here. I'll see if I can find a way around. Don't worry, this is the climbing game, and I'm gonna do some climbing. Alright, now. I know that what I need to be doing is climbing, correct? Because it seems obvious. However, I also don't see... Uh, I don't see yellow, which is typically my path instruction. So, like... Yeah, it looks hint. like that'd get me right. up there. Climb this... What street sign? The game is pointing me in the direction, but it's not actually showing me the thing I need to climb. Alright, so it wants me to come here. Now, the game has historically used yellow to signify where I need to go, and here it's not doing that. It's breaking its own rule. Um, once I start climbing, I kind of have an idea of where to go because it has prescribed paths. There's no skill in uncharted climbing. Um, you just kind of do it, right? A better game, like, say, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I realize is, you know, ooh, right, like, some people are going to think it's a fight or whatever. But no, seriously, a, a game like Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is a game from, you know, 2015, 2014 game, I'm pushing in a totally different direction than you. I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to jump. All right. So a game like Rise of the Tomb Raider is really clear about its pathing. It's because again, neither, none of these games have like skill-based platforming, right? None of these games are actually going. All right, well, there's actually some actual skill involved. You just kind of press the buttons that you need to press, um, and sometimes the game. I don't actually know. I had to jump to that, but okay. All right, so Nate's gonna climb here. Again, really clear where to go. I love the use of birds there um, as a way to kind of indicate to Nate what he needs to do. Is this the fight? No, I don't think this is the fight. One of my favorite fights is coming up. And when I say favorite fights, I don't just mean in Uncharted. I mean one of my favorite fights in a video game. Ever. I was hoping maybe I could throw the lamp, the lamp, or the, whatever those are, lanterns. Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. You might notice I'm not taking cover here, and I probably should be. Um, again, I like not having to take cover in games. I'll do it in Gears, because Gears cover feels really good. Oh, wow. They are a ways away. You know what? That's okay. That's okay, because... Like, I forget how to throw. Um, is it tap? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There's no sticky aim here, which is really interesting. Uh, a game like Destiny, right? If you're playing it, you'll notice that you have a pretty decent, uh, sticky aim. I would have put a treasure right there. Um, pretty decent degree of sticky aim. And I think a lot of third person, especially newer shooters, do that. Because you're playing on a controller. The sticks are bad. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, God. It's like the third thing I've got for making a guy drop a gun or his grenade. Okay, how do I drop the? Sh okay, you just change weapon types. Good to know. Yeah, shut up, Chloe. I'm looking for loot. So I'm a treasure hunter, a tomb robber, um, dude raider. It's what I I know where to go, game. Man, I really thought there would be some kind of, uh... Really thought there would be, like, a treasure around. 
If, if you guys don't want me looking for treasures, by the way, like, feel free to tell me. Um, I'm not reading the comments right now, but I will. Stand back! Alright. Well, guess you had that one covered. I did. Because I'm not. Wait. Oh, thought I saw one. It's actually just ash falling from the sky, it looks like. Give me a boost. I think I can reach that ladder. Look at this. This game, how many times have we done this so far? A million? <laughs> it would be nice if there were other Boy, verbs. It's a shame you have to I mean, they get their mileage game. out of it, right? But. Here you go. Told me I never do anything for you. Yeah, um, I really agree with that. Like, the, sorry, the comment about um, appreciating games like you see other parts that aren't, you know, part of the world map. It does feel nice to have little extra areas. That's one thing I really appreciate about Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm going to sing that game's praises a lot throughout this playthrough because it is a comparable game. And I think it's an improvement in every respect. Um, really, game? 50 Cent could have punched this. Sorry, I just, I have an article about that coming out soon. The editing is done, so it's up to US Gamer when they want to publish it. And I can build them for it. Come on, this way. Didn't we just have a help me do this? Like, in terms of pacing. In terms of pacing. Um, okay. I don't think having a lot of, hey, let me do this while you get through here is interesting. That was chivalrous, huh? It's not dead, you just gotta ask for it. Excuse me. Alright. Sorry, I am going to take drinks while I do this, and I'm not going to mute myself because uh, I don't actually know how. It's a brand new mic. I'll figure it out. I apologize. Look look how good this is. Like, look, look at this. Look at this. How many games, how many games do you know in the AAA space walk in through something super pretty like this? At least from last gen, right? There's, um, I mean, I, I got to say, like, I loved... Hitman Absolution had like a, a growing room inside. It was wonderful. I, I really appreciated that. Now I'm technically in the next level. But I was kind of thinking... Look like things are going too well for the I forgot how... Ch There's a resistance now? I mean, I know there were dudes fighting the other dudes, but like... Am I really to believe that there is a resistance against a man who is just destroying temples and like the army has not gotten involved? I don't like these odds. No. What is happening? Why is this happening? No, I think maybe we should cut over to the hotel a different way. Just avoid this crew altogether. I'm sorry, do you have a plan to go along with that grenade? Yes, I do. That's a great line. I'm gonna circle around this way, break up their little party. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. I need you to take care of him. But, uh, do it quietly. Do it quietly. As a game that relies a lot on stealth, Are you sure about I, this? I like stealth. Desperate times, right? right? But as a game that relies so much on stealth, um, man, see, a lot of little background details that just really sell this game. There's so much care put into like the little things. That's really what makes this game pop, I think. All right, now I need to get that guy, Jimothy Rocket Man. Okay, come on, come on. And there's no, you know, there's no, like, ability to whistle. Um, you know, to distract or something. Clay, what? What are you doing? Eat this! What you doing, girl? Boom! I know the guy in black is probably still. Yep. Great. Okay. Okay. Auto switching weapons. Very nice. Really appreciate that. It helps with game flow. Um, to be like, why am I pulling a trigger? Nothing's happening. Obviously, having an empty weapon sound is nice too. Um. Coming at you. Coming. At you. Oh, nice. I think his dodge drill is faster than mine. That dick. 
I suspect they actually want me to pick up this weapon and use it. So... Oh god, more of them. Um, let's go find a weapon of some kind. War Nathan. You can drink more like Nathan Dumb. So. <laughs> I keep mashing the wrong button because I'm expecting it to do all the things that more modern games do. Is that game actually is a slightly old control scheme? Um, a newer game, right? A newer game probably uses, uh, it uses square or X for pickups, and it probably uses it for reloading. So, like a lot of a lot of new games tend to do that, and it's a really nice control scheme. I think, uh, okay. I think that was standardized by Call of Duty. You could have that wrong. Um, so I ended up I ended up hitting the wrong buttons a lot, and now if if I could, oh there were guns right there. Um, if if I could, I would love to be able to like rebind all the buttons, and I haven't checked the options. Like maybe you actually can do that, but um, Whoa. I last I recall playing this game, that wasn't a thing that anyone could do. All right. A little busy right now, but I hear a car, so I want to throw a grenade at it. What's this? Is this a shotgun? Shotgun's probably not useful for uh, a gunner in a car. Can you take me higher? Alright. Reload. Pick up this FA out ammo. Oh man, there's a lot of them. We've changed the dynamics of the combat space in a way that feels really fun. Um, you notice that this is a. This is a better fight than some of those earlier fights because we can actually move around quite a bit. Um, they brought those reinforcements in a way that lures us up into here, which is where we've been fighting previously, so it encourages us. Like, I assume we could have stayed back. Um, maybe they have it on a tripwire, so we moved up into the tripwire, and that's the only reason that the enemy spawned. But whatever happened, the case is, like, the dynamics of the arena changed. Um, and that's always that always makes for a good, a good combat encounter, because you're... This area didn't get finished. Um, you know, but these faces that feel really nice. Um, now, here's the real question, though, for me. Alright. Alright, alright. There's no one to shoot, but alright. Would have been fun if there was, right? So they're like back here, aren't they? Yeah. Hey Chloe, what's up? Oh, man. Yeah, it was actually kind of useful there because yeah, it actually lured the, the enemy one. around and he was aggroed on her and not me. Well, this is a hotel. Um, and that's that's kind of fun. I don't remember if like Gears of War does that. I kind of think they always prioritize you. Um, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played Gears of War. That'll be a really fun game to stream. Maybe I should do that at some point. Um, like. Hey, this is you know, this was a good combat encounter um, for the game, but we are we are running into an issue where all the enemies are pretty much the same. None of them are really communicating really well. Uh, if you play a game like Fear, what? right? Um, in Fear, somebody fire says, fire. you know, grenade really loudly, and you know he's gonna throw a grenade at you. Um, in here, like I'm not really clear on when enemies are throwing grenades at me or whatever, and that's just a communications issue. Um, and you know, in that case, I can definitely say, you know, Fear was the better game. But that's also a first-person shooter from 2005. So on one hand, it's not, you know, it's an older game. I think this is our best bet. Give me a boost up. I'm not going to give you a boost up. You're a garbage human being. But apparently I have to, so I guess that's what we're doing. Hey, you're pretty hot. I'm going to marry someone <laughs> okay. else, though. You got it? I've already played yeah. Uncharted 4. Yeah. yeah, that ledge still takedown was pretty bad. Up. This is um, it's an easier game to play than I remember. Like it just it it goes down pretty smooth. It's not as it's not as good as Blood right. in the Sand was. Um, so I just far. finished Blood and Sand the other so day and I was really kind in. of amazed. Not at, from here. Wait, really? Oh man, 
they just like took this uh looks like they just took them the ramp here and they just kind of clipped it through there for no real reason that's weird or maybe fire skips are like that i i live in uh, a small town in kansas so i actually don't know what fire skips are supposed to look like um i'm gonna guess that the game wants me to do that once again we have another like i don't know where to go skybox out there way out there looks really bad like 2d that's great i mean again game from 2009 but i mean halo also had you know halo 3 had like a four, 17 mile draw distance that's a game from you know it's a first person shooter so it actually needs higher level of detail on things if i recall correctly All right, I'm in. i think that's the hierarchy there um but like the setting is so cool look at this i mean we're in this like really oh god oh crap that's exactly what I was thinking. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Game like binary domain, you can like rip off armor. Oh no, there's a little bit of armor popping off there. Okay. Okay. Sup bro! It's me! It's really interesting how the game... This way. So this is one thing I think is really a good point in the game's favor. It knew, right? The game understood I wanted to punch that guy. So it actually made him kind of sticky over to me. Um, it was like, oh yeah, let's, let's, we know that this fight needs to occur. So rather than letting it be awkward, the game was like, yeah, let's, let's bring it all together. Let's make that fight happen. It looks a little jank, but it, it feels great. Generator. Because of player. Man. And for me, that's because I think every game should be about intentionality. Um, you know, what I intend to do should probably no be the thing that happens, or it should be a meaningful surprise. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I wish I'd brought something to read. Well, that's broken. Looks like the circuit breaker's on the top floor. Just sit tight, I'll take care of it. Great. Power's out and a girl's trapped. I swear to God, if there's a zombie around the next corner... <laughs> I've already played Uncharted 1. Look at this. I mean, look at this. We have this, like, really pretty sort of teal thing going on. We got this nice, like, it looks like cherry almost wood. Like this really, really dark wood grain pattern. The colors here are wonderful. And the game is really clear about where we need to go. It uses the flapping of the flag. It uses the um, yellow on those poles there. It also does this really fun thing where it's, it's showing us where we were earlier. I mean, heck, the guns that we, we dropped are down there too, which is pretty fun. Um, but you know, like, the game is the game has been really neat. It's like, hey, you were here before, and now you've moved on. It gives a sense of progression, which feels really good. Um, now, we aren't able to punch these. There's no knife melee, right? That was actually me trying to reload. Okay, I'm hitting the jump button. There we go. Oh god. Okay, he has friends. That's bad. Straight up snap his neck. Here's my question. Why does the grenade have like a blue logo on it? What, what do you think the deal is there? I don't know. It's weird. I wonder as an indie developer, how would I make levels like this, right? Like, technology is becoming more and more advanced. How could how could I make a space like this and make it really interesting? I mean, yeah, you can, you can make, like, look at this. Custom wall texture, right? You make, you know, say, a big splotch of yellow and then a white stripe. And then you go over here and you're like, hey, I'm going to make a red and a white stripe. Like, you could just change the, the colors like that, right? Um... But I mean, there's so much detail and love, and well, I don't know if it's love, but it's hard work, that's for sure. A lot of crunch put into this. Hey! Wait, who said hey? Who's this guy? Where did he come from? Hey man, I'm lost. There he is! Okay, I wanted to punch him, not... The speed ramping is really good. It uh, makes it easier to, to parse what's happening. 
Uh, you know, I think speed ramping isn't always great in movies, but man, that felt pretty good. Oh god. Get down! See, I'm taking damage during this. Oh man, I'm almost out of ammo. I should actually probably pick up an AK-47 the next time I see one. I want to keep using the foul, because I really like the foul. Okay. Can I get up here? <laughs> Alright, nice. Treasure! Isn't that great? And then they give us a nice quick way out. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Whenever a game, you know, makes me go, can I? And then it, the answer is yes, you can. That's always a good thing, I think. Um, it, it feels so rewarding. The skybox looks... I am trying to admire... I actually am not trying to admire. I was actually going to say that it looks kind of bad. Again, this is a, this is a priorities thing, right? Look, look at those mountains. A this one actually looks 3D. In uh, the PS2 version, it looks like straight up 2D. Um, and I don't know if that's just because higher fidelity or what, but like, it's it's pretty low detail. I I can't imagine a lot of work was put into that. But, for all I know, maybe there was a ton of work was put into it, and then they went, Oh man, we gotta optimize this for the PS3. That's not gonna work out. But it's really interesting how the priorities are different, right? Their priorities are up close, right? We go back here, look look at this, I mean look at this. It's great yellow and, and brick patterning, it's white, it's got some purple here. All this detail. You could have done this with like two textures, and they went in they were like, We're gonna do this texture, we're gonna do this texture, we're gonna do this texture. We're gonna do this texture. Like, they have so much variety that is completely unnecessary. And they did it because it makes the game feel good. And you come back here, right? And like I fought my way through this space, so it looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And you come over here and it's like Welcome to nineteen ninety eight. So the priorities, the developers' priorities are different. I remember that actually was really annoying me back in the day because like I've been you know, I was coming from like Halo and, and Gears, games that really spent a lot of time making the overall image look really good. But it really is just a priorities issue. Um, now, is Nathan going to jump to his death? No. I didn't actually see where to go there. Um, Nate, can you, can you climb up, maybe? Thanks, buddy. Now, what do I need to do here? Also, okay, that literally physically does not make sense. Look at this. We have a bar, but most of the bar is hanging off, but the bar hasn't fell off. That's not how physics works, especially when Nate gets involved. Still a little bit frustrated by the lack of sticky hand. Nate, you haven't forgotten about me, have you? No. Would you like me to forget about you? Alright, there's the circuit breakers. No treasure up in here or anything. Found it. I'm sorry, you are going to have to deal with me playing how I play this game. Look at all these little details, and then the lighting changes, and it's like... Now the colors are completely different, and it looked good both ways. That's so cool. Like, the the art here, I'm, I'm never going to stop talking about how great the art is, right? Oh. Sup, Chloe? Oh. My name is Nate Uncharted Drake, and I'm here to let you out of an... Oh. We gotta do another oh, one of these. Goes. Oh, I think you're liking this a bit too much. I don't think he's liking it a bit too much. He sounded bored. <sighs> How many times have we done this? Like, this reminds me of Homefront, right? I don't know if you, you ever played Homefront, but there was, there was a bunch of reviews in Homefront that were like, I just keep having to wait for people to do things so that I can do them. And this game is doing that a lot. I bet that, you know, maybe this guy's loading something. Look how good this looks, though. Look at this nice bright pool. These are the things, and a lot of this is choice driven, right? It's not just that, like, the water looks great. Like, you can see they probably, I mean, look at that. That's clearly, like, not actually light refracted they're doing there. There's some kind of pattern that they're playing. And, of course, I mean, of course, this game is not ray traced, right? You're not actually going to have light reflect in the water. But, the water looks great. Like, somebody sat here and they went, all right, we want to make this environment look, we want this environment to pop. 
so what are we gonna do to make the environment pop? Why does this look better than a, a billion pools in another in a billion other games? Well, we got this nice chlorinated pool. This bright blue. And it contrasts really well with the oops, I threw a grenade. Will it make the water flash? It didn't. What if I throw it right into the water though? Eh. Particle effects are not great, but I mean again, 2009 video game. I'm gonna try to excuse this as best I can. But like we can see, there is orange. Blue. And they have they have um, variants of orange. It's not just like one exact palette, right? We have this darker hue, and then we have this lighter hue. There's some patterning in there that just makes it feel even more expensive. And we have this big city that is actually pretty impressive. Some explosions off in the distance. Fire. Like, this is a war zone, right? It's a war zone because of Lazarevic, because he wants temples, which is kind of dumb, I think. The idea that, like, one guy is destroying an entire city... Like it's Syria or something, but he's doing it because he wants p power, I think. I think his motivation is literally, I want power. Um, it's kind of weird. Did we need all these like little fancy props up here? No, but it makes the environment feel richer. We're at the top of a hotel, right? So it tells the story. Is that 2D? And it rotates with the camera? That's cool. I think it's actually a cross. Um, Alright. Wait, the zipline's right there, so how do I get to the zipline? Did I actually mess up? Get out of my way, Chloe. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was too busy admiring, in, admiring the environment and not actually sure where to go. I mean, we need to go there, right? Okay. So I see a white beam there, and I think I probably have to get up to it. Okay, interesting. Can I, like, can I go on the outside? Ah! Okay, I wonder how I was supposed to know that I could get out here. And maybe the game actually just wants to destroy its own pacing. Maybe it wants you to figure it out. So it wants you to walk around and kind of just admire the view. And, you know, if they do, that's a, that's a good choice. Alright, that's not a good choice. It's a valid choice, I should say. I won't say whether it's good or bad. These solar panels actually look like solar panels. I love it. They have that kind of the way the light shines on them. We're gonna have a cutscene for this well, instead of a button prompt. Here we are. Now we just gotta find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell so me about I see what you're saying about Gears and Halo, but I think there's actually Bingo. an effect that the world provides it when it, it shows a really big skybox. It That's just says this yeah, space the feels one in the middle of big. All Destiny the does this too. Explosions. Um, yes. Those developers Nate, prioritize right. camp. largeness. In the opposite direction. Um, thank you, well, Bugalux. I think that's right? a thank you. I don't know how any of this works. Those developers prioritize a sense of bigness to their games. Oh, they want their, they want the worlds to feel Jeez, big. This is and Uncharted 19. wants it to be pretty. So Uncharted focuses more on the the intimate close up. Son of a bitch! All right, time to go. I really on, hope Nate, that moving. this stream archives properly. I'm mad if it doesn't. Game? Okay, there we go. I think in general, bigger trigger volumes are better. Did it reset my guns? No. Okay. Damn it. How the hell? Look at this, look at this. I mean, somebody literally sat down, right? Think about games, right? When you're Watch out, Chloe. Somebody has to build the entire video game world. Every time somebody makes a video game, they basically build it all from scratch. Physics, everything. Like, the entire universe is built from scratch. So somebody had to come in here. And like, they know you're only going to be here for, like, ten seconds, right? And do you know how long it actually takes to build this broken tile, this water shader, all this other stuff? Like, I'm sure they use the water shader in other places, but they, they sat down and they went, let's, let's make this, right? Let's spend all this time lovingly crafting that it's rebar and bricks plaster and they do it because they know the environment is going to feel good but it's also like the kind of thing that locks out anybody else oh God, be careful. Right? a lot of people are like oh crackdown is crackdown Holy 3 shit. is not a oh man this is really cool the sequence is was famous for everything right here i've got you give me your hand just go i can climb up i have upper body strength 
Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite parts in Vermintide 2's DLC. Sorry, it has one of these. Oops. Nope, nope. Let's not fall. This is where the game taking away camera control is actually really good for you. I love how he deliberately dove off the edge like that. All these plants, like, blowing around. Like, look at that. That planter got blown off. All those little details. Didn't realize I'd reloaded. Okay. Alright. So, we're being shot at, so we know, right, that we want to drop down that hole. It's not like another game where we can choose. Like, we were like, oh, we definitely have to go down there. I don't actually know where Chloe is. Oh, yeah, never right better. Again, incredible amounts of work put into this. None of these people care that they're being shot at. Well, that time I didn't get to stick to the guy and punch him. Cool. Let's do this again. We know there's a shotgun and it's going to surprise us around there. Oh god. Alright. Mm. I love that I heard that elevator. They did the fear thing. Of nice. Alright. This is one of the better orchestrated encounters in the game, and I think it's because of the flows. I love that she has a land for that. See, it's the little things. It's those little details. Make the game pop. But it's still a very dissatisfying shooter. Like, this is just... There's no... Oh my god. Oh, hey, it's this part. What the hell are they doing? This isn't good. And this awesome part occurs. All those physics. Oh. Seriously, where did that man come from? It's going down! <laughs> that was great. I really did enjoy Transformers 3 a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jump! <laughs> so that was kind of awkward. Not a, not a great flow there, but you know. It's because I was at this end of the room. I think they intend for you to be at the other end of the room when that happens. In that. <laughs> it's a lot more dramatic when you're... Uh... Perfect. I actually like this gun more. Revolvers are great. This way, come on! Okay, can't go down. I think we spotted the temple when we got up top. That was like our whole deal, Guess right? Ha this hotel in the down season, huh? <sighs> come on. I, I want to say, like, I've played a lot of video games, right? One of the advantages of having chronic pain and chronic fatigue is that it's hard to get out sometimes. So you end up being able to play lots of video games. And I've played a lot of games, and I've heard a lot of different voice direction, voice actors. There are actually some directors who I can kind of tell who it is. Um, I think it wants me to jump there, which is weird. Because that doesn't look like a very good jump. Because it's at an angle. Look, it's an unhealthy looking jump. Yes. Alright. Incredible. There is literally no stickiness. It's kind of amazing. A bridge! Mashing is bad. Yeah, tell me about it. The resistance fight is built and spread across the river. What resistance? This game is like... I mean, why would you resist against like one dude with a surprisingly large private army? Should I be picking up the grenade launcher? I think the foul is probably the better weapon to be using here. Not really wild about looking over the rooftop. I don't think it's very good looking. 
That's satisfying. Here, she, there he is. One thing that's really smart Whoa. here this guy doesn't is move. get down. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, is my rotation really that slow? What's going on? Oops. I love this part of 50 Cent Blood and Sand. You know, I heard a really interesting thing. Um, oh man, I don't know why. Sorry, that's not that's not that's not that's not He's just gonna dodge me a lot, apparently. Not a very dramatic fight. At least in 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, the guy would say things like, I'm going to kill you, Mr. Cent, which is amazing. The physics are great, the presentation is great. Like, this is a game that is all style, I hate to say. It's not all style, I've talked about some things that are pretty good about it. Yeah, in 2009 this would have been amazing, except that we had pretty much the exact same fight in Blood on the Sand not too much earlier. It's just that there's a little bit more polish here. Like, should I be running, actually? Like, is that what the game wants from me? Man. Nate's, uh, Nate's actual turn rate is wow. My one shame is I am nowhere near as good as like. There you go. She said a couple more hits. This is more than a couple. Um, you know I had a friend and he, I was like, so why is this random guy like so popular? He doesn't seem that entertaining. And my friend was like, well look, to be a successful streamer you have to be one of two things: funny or really good. And this guy, Trout, is really good. And I was like, oh, okay, because he didn't seem that entertaining to me. Um, because banter wasn't great. I am not good. Like, I'm no shroud, right? So I have to be funny, and I don't think I'm that funny, but hopefully I'm informative. Okay, lower the bridge. Lower what bridge? There's probably a bridge that I have to lower. Wait, she's getting all the way over to me. Oh, right there. I wonder if what would happen if they made those bridges like brighter in the environment to contrast really well. I think when I get to, uh, I think it's chapter 7, that's when I'm going to quit. I forgot how long this got. I was going to go all the way to the train originally, but uh, it seems like a ways. Long, long ways. I know I shouldn't keep using the grenade launcher, but it's fun. Actually, game, I wanna... Yeah, there we go. They have a really good jump camera, I think. Um... Oh, Clay's going the right way. Hey, that wire. Get out of the way, way, Clay. Down. I'm driving go, the go. zip line. All right, all right. Meow. <laughs> I love that I pushed her out of the way so that I could do my- Oh no, a cliché! Don't worry, I'm okay with clichés happening occasionally. That was pretty entertaining, to be honest. I'm gonna find another way down. Alright. Again, the art direction is superb. Especially for a game from 2009. 
it's not really the graphics, right? I mean, the technical achievements of like Halo Combat Evolved, or not Combat Evolved, Halo 3 were yeah. ridiculous in comparison. Um, like that's a game that still does some incre incredible stuff. Like uh, in a lot of first person shooters you have the model that you hold, that's I think the, the view model if I remember correctly, the parlance. Um, and then you have the sort of the, the model that you see in the world, right? And, oh man, cutscene. There's a guy right there, it already showed us. We already know there's one here. And then, um... Oh, hey, hey, don't shoot! Hey! <gasps> it's these guys! What the hell are you doing here? Elena? Jeff, don't! Man, Jeff is not, not Wait, very bright on the uptake. You know this guy? She literally just said that, you dummy. This is Drake. Oh. Sorry. So, what's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? Yeah, it's nice to see you two. I suppose you're here for some noble crusade, right? Actually, I think he straight up dropped it, yeah. Criminal. Jeff Zoran is not Lazarevich a smart man, and that's why he gets killed. Isn't that NATO's job? Where is NATO? He's dead. Killed in some bombing raid. Oh, and you're here to prove otherwise. So there's a war going on, but NATO's not going to involve because names. they think Lazarevic is torture, pretend mutilation, dead. mass execution, or fake real dead, whatever. This is not how this works, folks. Something new. There's a war going on. You got to stop it. Here, why, why tear apart the city? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, I know the secret. Nate's gonna lie about it. Oh. Now. Tell me you don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you are, Nate. I think I lost them. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's all right. Why did she pull a gun? It was clear Journalist. he was not fighting. Oh. Oh. We need to keep moving if we want to stay one step ahead of Lazarevich, so... Oh, man, Nate. Uh, hey, wait, wait. Mm. No, don't jump to conclusions, Elena. <laughs> That's what my jump to conclusions um, map is for. I'm sensing some history here. Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Yeah. No. No. Glad you find this so funny. Well, it's just, I never figured you for the white bread picket fence type. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks, thank you. Oh. Oh, what? She broke your heart. Oh, please. <laughs> she did. This is one of the better cutscenes in the game. <laughs> oh, yes, Casanova. We need to get moving. Uh, wait, um, they're coming with us. I don't think they're going to be able oh, to come serious. with you. Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I can't just ditch him in the middle of this mess. They're only going to slow us down. And if uh, we Chloe. Caught, if Lazarevich catches you and me together... I'm not leaving them behind. You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know? Nate! I'll catch up with you later, but it since Jeff is with me, he's going you, to die. Right? Yeah, I get it. I think that was actually a pretty They're good line. Coming with us. Well, we don't need saving, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to rethink that. Shit. I just shot down a helicopter. I'm pretty awesome. There's no way the helicopter... Like, having flown planes at that height before, Look I can out. straight up tell you, oh, there's no, uh, no way the helicopter would actually be able to do that. All right, this is where I started. So I went like this, and then I walked here, and the game cut me. Uh, the game has taken my grenade launcher from me. In the words of Hercules, DISAPPOINTED! That's chapter 7, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop the uh, stream there. That's pretty fun, though. Um, 